Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, good day to you all, my followers, and my fans on Facebook. And may God bless you all. Um, it's another day, and, and it's another section again. So this is our brother, Sammy's prayer. May God bless you all. So today again, we are on still on our dream interpretation. So today we'll be having another section. Hallelujah. Today we'll be having another section. But we thank God Almighty that has been giving us the strength. Hallelujah. God that has been giving us the strength. God that has been giving us the power of revelation. Praise God. That has been giving us the power to oh, to come out with um, some dreams interpretation. It is not easy. It's not something that you see it at school to learn. It's not something that somebody uh, will teach you. No, but it's always come through the power of the Holy Spirit through revelations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you once more again uh, for today. We thank you for this hour. We thank you for this moment, O oh God. Lord, I prayed, O oh God, Lord, you say you have been speaking through your children, O oh God, Father, through dreams, through trance, and through revelations. Father, O oh God, you reveal the secret things, O oh God, Lord, which thou knowest, as you said in the book of Isaiah, O oh God, Father, and you also said in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 3, say, call unto me, and I will show you greater than mighty things, which thou knowest, as you said, O oh God. In the, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 32, verse 27, we say, Behold, I am the Lord, thy God. Hallelujah. The God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Hallelujah. So is anything too hard for me? To, there is nothing that God cannot do. There is nothing that God cannot reveal. Hallelujah. So that's why he say he gave some apostles, some prophet. Hallelujah. So the gift of interpretation of tongues, some of dreams. But we thank God again for his mighty works upon our life. Hallelujah. So, brethren, today, our main topic of today, we'll be talking about that it, you dream, and in that dream, you have an accident. Hallelujah. A dream that you had an accident in it. Praise God. A dream that you have an accident. You dream that you had an accident in your dream. It's not that you, you dream that you saw an accident. No. I'm talking about that you dream and you had an accident. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we'll talk about um dream of you having an accident. Biblically, um a, what you talk about was seeing a car accident in a dream indicate the victory over an enemy. Hallelujah. So when you dream of you, you say you saw an accident in your dream. Um it's a dream that indicated that God has given you victory over your enemies. Hallelujah. That you um, are talking about. It means that God has given you victory for what you prayed for. Hallelujah. For what you prayed for. Amen. For what you prayed for. So like when you go back to the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 1 um, to 2. And the Bible says, And the word of the Lord came again the second time unto Ezekiel. Why? He was being shut up in the court of the prison. Saying, Thou says the Lord, the maker of thereof. The Lord that for me, the Lord that established is, the Lord is his name. Hallelujah. That is why I say, call unto me, and I will answer you, and I will show you greater than mighty things which thou knowest. Hallelujah. So, whatsoever the enemy must have prepared against you, amen, whatsoever the enemy must have done in the secret against you. So, when you go back to the book of Numbers 23, 23, see, surely there is not enchantment against Jacob, no definition in the house of Israel. Hallelujah. So what we'll talk about you seeing a car accident in your dream indicate a victory over your enemies. It's talking about a victory that God has given you over your enemies. So it depends what you have been praying for. So God is revealing those things for you that the things that you can't see them physically, but things that have been done in the secret, things that have been done in the hidden. Those are the works of the craft the crafty council. Amen. It means that God has given you victory. Hallelujah. Victory. For your prayer. Or your prayer have been answered against your enemies. So you seen um you seen an accident in your dream. You were not involved, but God showed you that and you saw an accident in your dream. Amen. So that was a victory. It means that 
uh, the dream indicate God. Hallelujah. God has given you victory over your enemies. Amen. So car accident dreams point. You're just like I'm going out of it's in a conflict. Amen. It shows that there's a conflict between you and someone. Someone is fighting you. That your prayers have been answered. God has given you prayer, given you answer on your prayer against your enemy. So God will show you that accident, that there's something that happened in the spirit form. That God has given you victory over that. That will be another topic for another day. But why today we are talking about that you have a dream. Hallelujah. You have a dream that you had an accident in that dream. Hallelujah. Amen. Accident are not just accident. Amen. In a dream. Accident is not just accident. They occur to call your attention to something important. Amen. So we were talking about to review. Like, oh, go back to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. It says, the sacred things belong to the, to the Lord, our God. But the things, hallelujah, are revealed. They belong to us. So the things that are revealed unto us, they belong to us. Hallelujah. So dreams are not just mere dreams, but they are something that God is showing you in order for you to pay attention. So it's not all dreams that you take them lightly. So every dream that you had that you never, you never understood about it, go down on your knees, pray, just cancel it, just give some declaration about it. So dreams are not just dreams, not are accidents, are just, just accident. Amen. They occur to call your attentions. They occur to call your attentions. They are something important. Amen. They are things that word. They are called in order to what? To call your divine attention of the Creator for you to pray about it. Hallelujah. So when you dream about accident, hallelujah, it, it occur or it it could mean that something Hallelujah, that could have revealed, hallelujah, or could have reached your hand, or, ha or must have gone further because the unseen power is taking, hallelujah, is what? Is taking away from you. Praise Master Jesus. When you, when you dream about an accident, it could mean that something that could have revealed Hallelujah. All, all that could have reached your hands has gone further because unseen power took it away from you. Hallelujah. See, the unseen power has taken something from you. Hallelujah. So dream is not meant just a dream, but it's something that God is revealing to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Those are unseen things that Although those are unseen powers occurring in your life that are not being revealed to you physically, but they happen is for to draw your attention, is to awaken your what your spirit man. So all those things that you saw that crash of an accident that you were involved in an in, in a what in a car accident. Amen. It means that um, God revealed that things unto you in a form. In your heart, it appears, or in your spirit, or your dream, it appears in the form of a vehicle. Hallelujah. God is what is electing you, that there is something that the enemy is snatching away from your hand. So if you have that dream, that you had an accident, you were involved in an accident in your dream, and you wake up, you need to pray. If you are a worker, you need to pray. If you are a businessman, you need to pray. If you, are a, if you are a married man, you need to pray. You need to pray for your career. You need to pray for your business. You need to pray for your, for, for your marriage. You need to pray for your family. Because the devil has come to snatch something away from your hand. Something that wants to reach you as a victory. So the devil come to what? To crush it. He come to crush it out. So if, if you are a worker, you need to pray for your work. If you don't pray and you have that dream and you do not pray concerning that, you find yourself that you are losing your job. Things began to happen that you don't know. You find that you are losing what? You are losing your capitals. You are losing your business. You are losing your business your list, uh, business partners. Things began to go wrong because what? 
a wrong hand, a wrong power, the unseen power, as what has temper with something or with your glory. So you dream and you have an accident. It means um, the devil has snatched something that was supposed to reach your hand. Hallelujah. So if you are a worker, you do to pray for your work. If you are a businessman, you need to pray for your business. If you are um, a married man, you need to pray for your married. Um, if you are a family, you need to pray for your family. Hallelujah. Praise God. So when you see, go back, uh, those are, um, I just gave some um, scriptural reference. Like uh, you can still read from the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, um, Numbers chapter 35 from verse 22 to 25, Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10, and Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 29. Those are, those are the scriptural reference um, concerning this topic that you have a dream and you have an accident in that dream. Praise God. So those are the scriptures that you can read. Hallelujah. Those are the scriptural reference on this topic. I pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, those that have been having such dreams, uh, without them know the interpretation of it. Lord, I pray today, O oh God, Lord, may you enlighten their understanding, O oh God, that whatsoever they are going through because of this, that the enemy, the unseen force, the unseen power, the tempered against, O oh God, their victory, tempered against, O oh God, Lord, we have victory in life. But Lord, I pray, I see no weapon formed against it in Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 17, that no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Hallelujah, that any tongue that rises against this in judgment, that shall condemn. Lord, I thank you. Remain blessed. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Stay blessed, brethren. Bye-bye.